Okay, if you're an Aussie coming to Bali or any of those countries that you can get a VOA or visa on arrival when you get to Bali, there's a special process that you need to go through if you want to stay for more than your four weeks or your 30 days actually. Yeah. So when you arrive in Bali, you get to the airport, you pay your visa on arrival, which is approximately $50 mm -hmm. Australian, but that only pays for one month. If you're like us, we're here for seven weeks this time, we have to go to immigration to extend our visa for another month. Or, or yeah. go to an agent. Or go to an agent. And we'll get to that in a minute about the difference between going to the Department of Immigration yourself, or going to, one of the phones just dropped on the ground, or, <laughs> or growing to an agent. Or growing to an agent. Or, growing, or going to an agent to get your visa done through them. So after three weeks, well, two to three weeks of being in Bali on your first visa, you need to organise extending your visa because you can't leave it to the last minute. Like we did. Like we did. There's a process you have to go through. I think we left it to four days, no, we four had, or five days. We had six days um, before our visa expired. So it's actually lucky that we got in when we did because um, or else we would have been probably paying the overstay and getting kicked out or whatever happens. We don't know. Yeah, don't overstay your visa. We don't know. Our initial thing was, do we pay someone to do our visa for us or do we do it ourselves? Yeah, because it was the first time we've ever needed to do it. We didn't know whether it was just going to be easier to use an agent or whether it was just going to be an experience that we could share with you to, and go to the immigration department and do it ourselves. Now, two things came into it. One was, okay, we're on a budget on this holiday. Do we want to spend double the price to use an agent or do we just want to give it a go ourselves? Yeah, the, we also talked to a few people that had done it through an agent and yeah. we made that decision, no, we can do this ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, um, most people you talk to recommend using an agent because it's a process of just basically going to the agent's shop, uh, filling out the forms, taking your passport, then going to the immigration centre and then your passport's back in a few days. So this is basically the difference here. They fill out the paperwork for you. We fill the paperwork out on immigration. It's something you can do yourself. It's very it's quick very and easy. easy. It's, it's very one simple. page. Um, they fill that paperwork out for you. Then you have to go to the immigration department to get your photo and fingerprints done. And then after that, the passport's delivered back to your agent and you pick your passport up from your well, agent. They deliver it. So that means you're going to your agent twice and you have to go to immigration once. That's three trips. If you do it yourself, you still got to do three trips. You just got to go to the Department of Immigration three times. So, now, I think one of the big things that would take in, you would take into consideration is where you are staying and how far you are away from the immigration department. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah. So we were staying in Sonora when we needed to extend ours. There's two different immigration offices down this side. One is in Dempasa and the other one is down in Jimbaran. So because we're in Sanua, we needed to go to the Dempasa office. Also, same if you're in Abud or same if you're in Kintamani area. They're all Dempasa area um, immigration. Now, when you first get here, there's these painted lines on the cement here. So basically, if you're an Aussie or a foreigner, you just follow this red line, which will take you to an office and they'll tell you exactly where you need to go. <laughs> I think that's a lizard. That's very... Anyways, when you get to the desk in the first area, they give you a form that you need to fill in and also check that you have your passports and your ticket on where you're flying to after Bali. Once they've checked that, they give you a form, tell you to go off and get photocopies of your passport, 
fill the form in, copies of your flight out of the country, and then come back to them. Yeah, so when you go get your photocopies, you've got to walk down around the back of immigration to a little cafe, and there's a window there where you pay for your photocopies, and I think it was about 2000 20 cents per photocopy or something like that. It wasn't much. Yeah, it was 2000 yeah. So 20 you, cents. So this is what you need. You need your passport, you need your flight ticket out of Bali, and you need your visa that's already in your passport. For photocopying, yeah. For photocopying? Yeah. And you fill out the paperwork while you're there. That's right. And like I said, the, the questions are very simple to fill in yourself. It's just basically your name, your nationality, the information that's already on your passport, the date that you're leaving and where you're staying um, at the, like, while they're processing it. Now, while I think of it, they did stipulate if you are staying in the Sanua area from that immigration department, you are not allowed to leave the Sanua area. Sanua, Kintamani or a wood area. Yeah. So, you go to the department that where you are staying while it's being processed. Yeah. So yeah. if you're staying in Legian or Kuta or Seminya, you can't go to the Dempasa one. You need to go to the Jimbaran one branch. Yeah. yeah. Now. That was the first step. That was step one. That was the first step. So we got all our paperwork filled out. We went back to that first counter before you go inside. They checked it all out. They're really efficient, super efficient. Um, they checked it all out and then they sent us into the immigration building. Yeah, indoors. Indoors. And you follow the red line. Stay the on red the red line. line. Is for foreigners. <laughs> and it turns around to the right and you walk down to an area full of chairs, full of people sitting there, and you walk up to desk number four and they'll give you a number and you sit down and wait. And you might be waiting half an hour to an hour. Ticket number C, two, one, zero. Please go to photo room one. I think the whole day one, I think we we're in and out within an hour. So it was super, super quick yeah. for what it was. It was the longest one, but it was only about an hour maximum. So when they call you up, what you go up to the counter, she goes through the information, make sure it's all there, and then she'll give you a date and time, which is three days later, to come back and get your fingerprinting done and your photo taken. And then they give you another date also, which is another four days later, which is when you come back and pick your passport up. We went on the 6th. We had to go back for our fingerprinting photo on the 9th, and then we had to go back to pick up our passport on the 14th. There you go. And really easy process, and each day, well, the first two visits were up to an hour. Not even that. No. First visit was an hour. Our second visit was 30 minutes. Second visit, there's a different process though. The second visit, you don't need to go to the counter on the outside. The second Ooh. visit, you just walk straight inside the immigration office, walk down the red line, go to counter four or C4, and they'll give you a ticket. And, oh, yes, yes, yes. They give you a ticket and you just sit down and wait for your number to be called. But you, on the first visit, are given a time that you need to go between. So for the photo and fingerprints, it was between 10 and 11 or something like that. Or oh, that's where we went. It was the morning session anyways. And then you sit down and we were in and out probably within 30 minutes on the second one and that was an easy process it was just a matter of getting your photo taken doing all your 10 fingerprints they might ask you a question like where are you staying or where are you flying next and that's it that was the um process yeah, it was real quick in and out okay then there was a third visit the which final was visit the final visit to pick up your passport once again follow the red line go to c4 He'll tell you to sit down. He won't ever give you a ticket because it's going to be quick. Yeah, he says, sit down, I'll call your name out. So, yeah, he gets your file out, he calls your name out, gets your passport out, identifies it to you, gives you your passport and says... Shows you your new visa. Yeah, shows you your new visa and says, enjoy your new month in Bali because you get another month extension. 30 days. Yeah, month. 30 days. No, month. Okay, 30 days. <laughs>
<laughs> the total price of going to the immigration department and doing the visa yourself is 50 Australian dollars or 100,000 rupiah. Plus a dollar, so a dollar or two for photocopying. If you found this video entertaining, helpful or inspiring, we'd love for you to consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell. Subscribing will ensure that you never miss out on any of our future content that we create especially for you.